Gender is a complex and diverse concept that encompasses many aspects of human identity and expression. However, not everyone fits into the binary categories of male and female that are often assumed by society. Some people may identify or express their gender in ways that differ from their assigned sex at birth, or from the norms and expectations of their culture. In this video, we will explore the differences between two groups of people who challenge the conventional notions of gender, femboys and transgender people. We will examine how they define and express their gender identity, how they are influenced by social and cultural factors, and what medical and legal issues they may encounter. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of the diversity and complexity of gender, and the challenges and opportunities that femboys and transgender people face in their lives. What is a femboy? What is a transgender person? These are two terms that you may have heard or seen online, but may not be familiar with. A femboy is a person who is assigned male at birth, but who likes to dress and act in a feminine manner. A transgender person is a person whose gender identity does not match their assigned sex at birth. For example, a person who was assigned male at birth, but identifies as a woman, is a transgender woman. A person who was assigned female at birth, but identifies as a man, is a transgender man. There are also transgender people who identify as neither male nor female, or as both, or as something else entirely. These are called non-binary or genderqueer people. The purpose of this video is to explain the differences between femboys and transgender people, and to explore the various aspects of their gender identity and expression. We will also discuss how they are affected by social and cultural factors, and what medical and legal options and implications they have. This video is not meant to be a comprehensive or definitive guide, but rather an introduction and overview of the topic. We acknowledge that there is a lot of diversity and variation within and among femboys and transgender people, and that each person's experience is unique and valid. We also respect the right of every person to self-identify and self-express their gender in the way that suits them best. The thesis statement of this video is, Femboys and transgender people are different in terms of their gender identity and expression, their social and cultural influences, and their medical and legal aspects. One of the main differences between femboys and transgender people is their gender identity and expression. Gender identity is one's internal sense of being male, female, neither, both, or something else. Gender expression is how one outwardly shows their gender through clothing, hairstyle, voice, mannerisms, and so on. Gender identity and expression are not necessarily the same, and they can change over time and in different situations. Femboys typically identify as male, but they enjoy expressing their femininity through their appearance and behavior. They may wear makeup, jewelry, skirts, dresses, or other feminine clothing and accessories. They may also adopt feminine mannerisms, such as speaking softly, giggling, or crossing their legs. They may or may not be attracted to men, women, or both, or neither. They may or may not consider themselves part of the LGBTQ community. Some femboys may use feminine pronouns, such as she, her, or gender-neutral pronouns, such as they, them, but most of them use masculine pronouns, such as he, him. Some femboys may also use feminine names, nicknames, or online aliases, but most of them use their given names or masculine names. Transgender people identify with a gender that is different from their assigned sex at birth. They may feel that they were born in the wrong body, or that their body does not match their true self. They may experience gender dysphoria, which is a distressing and uncomfortable feeling that arises from the incongruence between one's gender identity and one's physical characteristics. They may also experience gender euphoria, which is a positive and affirming feeling that arises from the congruence between one's gender identity and one's physical characteristics. They may or may not want to change their body to align with their gender identity, through hormones, surgery, or other means. They may or may not want to change their name, pronouns, or legal documents to reflect their gender identity. They may or may not be attracted to men, women, or both, or neither. Another difference between femboys and transgender people is how they are influenced by social and cultural factors. Social and cultural factors are the norms, values, beliefs, expectations, and attitudes of the society and culture that one lives in. They can affect how one perceives and expresses their gender, and how one is perceived and treated by others. 
Femboys may face different social and cultural challenges and opportunities than transgender people. On one hand, Femboys may enjoy more freedom and flexibility in expressing their gender, as they do not have to conform to the binary categories of male and female. They may also find more acceptance and support from certain communities, such as the LGBTQ community, the anime and cosplay community, or the online femboy community. They may also benefit from the increasing visibility and popularity of femboys in the media, such as in movies, TV shows, music, games, and memes. On the other hand, femboys may also face more stigma and discrimination from the mainstream society, as they may be seen as weird, unnatural, or deviant. They may also face more harassment and violence from people who are homophobic, transphobic, or misogynistic. They may also struggle with their self-esteem and identity, as they may feel confused, ashamed, or insecure about their gender expression. Transgender people may also face different social and cultural challenges and opportunities than femboys. On one hand, transgender people may enjoy more recognition and validation of their gender identity, as they can align their body and presentation with their true self. They may also find more acceptance and support from certain communities, such as the LGBTQ community, the transgender community, or the online trans community. They may also benefit from the increasing visibility and advocacy of transgender people in the media, such as in movies, TV shows, books, podcasts, and documentaries. On the other hand, transgender people may also face more stigma and discrimination from the mainstream society, as they may be seen as unnatural, abnormal, or mentally ill. They may also face more harassment and violence from people who are transphobic, homophobic, or sexist. They may also struggle with their health and well-being, as they may face barriers and risks in accessing medical and legal services, or in coping with the physical and emotional effects of transitioning. A third difference between femboys and transgender people is their medical and legal aspects. Medical and legal aspects are the physical and legal characteristics and consequences of one's gender identity and expression. They can affect how one changes and affirms their gender, and how one is recognized and protected by the law. Femboys may have different medical and legal needs and options than transgender people. On one hand, femboys may not need or want to change their body to match their gender expression, as they are comfortable with their assigned sex at birth. They may only use cosmetic products, such as makeup, hair dye, or nail polish, to enhance their femininity. They may also use temporary or reversible methods, such as shaving, waxing, or tucking, to conceal their masculine features. On the other hand, femboys may also choose to change their body to match their gender expression, if they desire. They may use hormones, surgery, or other means to feminize their appearance, such as breast augmentation, facial feminization, or voice therapy. They may also use legal services, such as name change, gender marker change, or document update, to reflect their gender expression. Transgender people may also have different medical and legal needs and options than femboys. On one hand, transgender people may need or want to change their body to match their gender identity, as they are not comfortable with their assigned sex at birth. They may use hormones, surgery, or other means to masculinize or feminize their appearance, such as chest reconstruction, genital reconstruction, or hair removal. They may also use legal services, such as name change, gender marker change, or document update, to reflect their gender identity. On the other hand, transgender people may also choose not to change their body to match their gender identity, if they are satisfied. They may only use clothing, accessories, or behavior to express their gender, such as wearing a binder, a wig, or a packer. They may also use temporary or reversible methods, such as makeup, hair dye, or padding, to alter their appearance. In conclusion, femboys and transgender people are different in terms of their gender identity and expression, their social and cultural influences, and their medical and legal aspects. Femboys identify as male, but express their femininity through their appearance and behavior. Transgender people identify with a gender that is different from their assigned sex at birth, and may change their body and presentation to align with their true self. Both groups face various challenges and opportunities in their lives depending on the norms, values, beliefs, expectations, and attitudes of the society and culture that they live in,
and the availability, accessibility, safety, and quality of the medical and legal services that they need or want. Both groups also contribute to the diversity and complexity of gender, and deserve respect and acceptance from others.